before we start today's shadow video, I uh, had a request to know where the engine serial number is, or uh, engine number, and I went and found it. It's going to be hard for you to find if it's covered in dirt and grime, but it's down there, and I'll show you on an engine removed from the bike. But it's going to be down here, right above your oil filler cap, your oil drain plug, sorry, and uh, right behind that coolant line. So right here. Lay on the ground on the left side of the bike and get under there, wipe it all away, and I'll show you on an engine that I have out where it is. All right, so here you go. You can already see it. I wiped it all off. It was covered in dirt and grime, and uh, it's right there above the oil drain plug. And because that hose to the coolant line and the water pump is not there, see, you can see where your oil filter is. There's your engine number, engine ID number, engine VIN number, whatever you want to call it. So, hope that helps you. Let's get on with the video. As we work around the garage, we now need to take this tank back off. Yep, I got it back up here. The reason we're taking this off is because when I put gas in the tank, it leaked from right there. So. What we need to do, pull that off. And uh, this is tight, so it's not leaking because this isn't tight. Let's pull this off and investigate this fuel tube. It's probably shot. And this is just a vent line, so this should not be contributing to our problem. If gas is going down there, we got a problem, and that would mean it's filled way too high because the vent comes up, I don't know, somewhere in the upper part of the tank and uh, there was no fuel up there. So as I was putting fuel in here, it was going from the primary tank to the, some call it the secondary tank or the main tank. This is where your gas is. This is what the bike was running off of before I put gas fuel in it. Because there was, there is, there's probably still fuel right here. And that's how it could run without putting gas in. But when I put gas in it, this, was leaking gas was running straight down here so i want to pull that off let's look at it get a new fuel line i know it's kind of hard kind of hard so probably shot all right i can show you what we have underneath the tank here there is another clamp and that's clamped to the bottom of that's the gas outlet and then there is our vent line which, as I said, does run up in here, right up into the top of the tank. So yeah, if we were getting fuel down there, it's up here in the front, you can see, that's a problem. It's not happening. Okay, so I'm gonna take this tank off and get that line off. Just wanted to show you that. Is there any wonder why this was leaking fuel now it's covered in fuel. Uh, well, I lifted the tank up and it completely ripped off. So whether or not it was leaking there or up at this end, let me show you. Yeah, it could have easily just been running out of there and then down the hose. So the vent hose still in good shape. I have that size around here if I need it, but I don't think I have any of this size. So I will have to go to the auto parts store. And uh, a lot of people just throw, throw any kind of tube in there. I obviously want it to be gas line, but who has gas line that thick? Anyway, it doesn't look like it was necessarily leaking right around here, but we're going to run to Napa. I think that's where I got this for the other, the VT700. So uh, we'll grab that and go with it. We're going to go with, with it. Okay, this looks... What am I saying? This looks trashed. It is trashed. There we go. And I think, if I remember correctly, I think the tank's clean inside. I'm gonna look in there, just make sure, you know. If not, 
we could always use that tank over there before I sell it. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good metal in there. That is a super clean tank. I love it. Yeah, there's a little bit of ick. But we have a filter for that. And nothing's loose. That looks gorgeous. Yep, we're going with that. Cool. That's why we're using this tank over again. And uh, just looking over there, we have fill hose line on that tank. So I should probably look at that. That's probably better. Maybe I'll take that with me to get the right uh, length. But uh, I'm going to get a new one anyway. As I was over measuring the uh, outlet hose for that gas tank, I noticed something interesting here. Check that out. The vent line and tube goes the whole way up there. It's a rubber hose and there's even clamps to hold it in. These are both 1983s, right? Well, this one has a metal line. A metal line for the vent tube. It goes in at the same place. But it's a metal line going down to the back where it attaches to our hose. I'm going to have to see if one of these is a different year. Something was redesigned along the way, I think. Other than that, they're the same. But something was definitely changed in a model year. Now, I, I do know this was already bent. I know this is bent up. Maybe I'll have to bend it back into place. Hopefully, I don't make any leaks. Or I'll just let it be, but that one's in the right spot where it's supposed to be. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that interesting tidbit of information. Another thing I just realized while I'm working on this tank, uh, it's blue on the top and it's red, maroon underneath. I didn't even think about it until I, I was wiping this down. I was like, oh, this is really nice maroon. I was like, wait, I don't have a maroon shadow. Didn't even think about it till now. Well, anyway, I guess this had a blue paint job. Because the fender's blue, I never would have questioned it. But, it used to be red. When you install your fuel line, obviously, you can still slip this over from this end if you forget. But orient this in a way, obviously it needs to be on this side of the lip right here see that little bulge you want that to sit right there and you don't want this to be in the way of anything else like i kind of want it to be on the bottom or kind of tucked in right here where i can reach it when i lift the tank and get under it i can turn it there if i want to pull it off that way or you want it out of the way of this bracket. So there's room under there for it. So kind of tuck it in, tighten it down somewhere on the bottom side. Kind of like that, I believe. Because then when I, if you flip this over, I can actually see it, get to it pretty easily. Here you go. So keep it from backtracking. So we have everything squared away up here. Everything's clamped on. You go under the bracket and then you want to make sure you put your hose clamp on this before you put it down on here and make sure these both line up on here at the same time. So you're not having to uh, maneuver or pull something off. So make sure everything is done at the same time. So we're going to put this on, let's see this way so it doesn't really interfere with anything else and then I can slide that back and then I'll put these two on their proper spots slide them on there tighten them down and we shouldn't be leaking fuel anymore all right I got those two squared away um, I would recommend just pushing this on by hand and if it's a new line you should have not much trouble just wiggling it in and pushing it as you go and uh, then tighten them down and we shouldn't have gas leaking out of these lines if it was another issue 
then we'll address it. But I slid this into place. I think she's lining up on the front pretty good. And I, uh, when I had it laying here, I scratched it. So, cool. This must have been really sanded down. I don't see any red under there. So anyway, I'll have to touch that up when I get to it. We'll give this thing a good detail. There's a little scratch there and a dent. But that's it for today. Hopefully we fixed our gas leak problem. Uh, as far as I can remember, obviously we have to secure all this back in. Charge the battery. We'll put gas in it. Before we do anything major, probably put mirrors on it, but this leaky brake reservoir needs addressed. So I think that's what we're gonna do in the next one because uh, it's running off the handle or the lever and hitting the floor. So that's probably our next one. And I wanna kind of bend this back into place because that's not gonna be real good. Our screw needs to fit in there. So I'll bend this in into place with a, uh, I don't know, I thought a C-clamp, but maybe just a locking pliers or something. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day. Get out and ride.